boys and girls. Today for science, we're going to have two videos, <clears throat> excuse me, again. One is going to be where I read a book to tell you about the animal classification that we're going to learn about today. And the next one will be a nature walk, which is really cool today. So, today we're going to learn about uh, amphibians. And some of the examples of amphibians are frogs, toads, and salamanders. And we're going to use the example of a frog today in our story. So some of the things I wanted to tell you about that classification of animals, I actually looked it up for you so that I make sure I remember everything. The amphibians are cold-blooded, which means that they take on the body temperature from their surroundings, from their environment. And they have a vertebrate or a backbone. They are different because they go through a metamorphosis or a change in their life cycle. So they start out as an egg and their eggs have no shells. They do have a yolk in there, but they have no shells. They hatch in water. They actually eat the yolk after they hatch and they're breathing in the water with gills, these amphibians. And they so they breathe like fish and they have no eggs during this part of their life cycle. So this part is kind of like their lar larva cycle and that's when they're called a tadpole if we're talking about a frog. This is the tadpole stage. Then they begin to develop lungs and they grow legs so that they could live on land. And then as adults, they begin to grow teeth so that they could eat different things. Um, so they don't have scales like reptiles, like snakes. They don't have any scales. They have a nice smooth skin and it actually feels moist. Um, and it takes about nine weeks where they begin to look more like a frog and they're able to eat insects. Um, but now is the real metamorphosis stage at the nine week point. That's when they begin to change. That's when they change from tadpole to adult frog where they lose their tail and they grow their legs. They also grow a long tongue um, and this whole cycle takes about 16 weeks. To, they're a fully formed with their legs the right length, the tail has disappeared, that's when they're a frog. So, we're going to look at the story today and it's called, And the Bullfrog Sings, A Life Cycle begins. And it's by David L. Harrison, illustrated by Kate Cosgrove. So I hope you like this story. It is spring. Time to find a mate. A bullfrog sings loud and deep. Warm, warm, warm. It's a nice picture. A female bullfrog likes to likes his song. Before long, she lays eggs. She lays them in sheets on the surface of the pond. And we're gonna talk about the different ways that they can lay eggs in a little bit. And here's some frogs on lily pads. There's a whole group of eggs there. That's a lot of eggs. A fish tries to eat an egg. Yuck! To some fish, bullfrog eggs taste bad. The eggs hatch. The babies have no legs. They have tails. They can only breathe underwater. They are not frogs yet. They are tadpoles. There's a nice picture. The tadpoles nibble plants. They nibble algae. They grow fatter and begin to grow eggs. Their tails, I'm sorry, they begin to grow legs. Their tails grow shorter. They can breathe air. Now they are little bullfrogs. So you can see their tails are shorter, but they're still there. Little bullfrogs taste good, young fish love to eat them. So do turtles, birds, snakes, and big Bullfrogs. Oh, they show you all these animals eating them. Look at that snake. Bullfrogs don't chew their food. They gulp it down. 
wings, fins, bones, and all. There's the bullfrog. The little bullfrogs like to eat. All they do is eat and hide. If a fly buzzes by, a long tongue shoots out. Zap! Bye-bye, fly. If a spider crawls by, zap! Bye-bye, spider. If a tiny fish swims by, splash! They go back into the water. Go! Bye-bye, fish. The little bullfrogs eat and grow all summer. They grow all fall. They are not little anymore. They are mid-size. Winter comes. Night grows cold. Frogs are cold-blooded. They need sunshine to keep them warm. Because remember that cold-blooded means they take on the temperature of their environment. So they're going to be cold now with the snow. Big frogs jump into the pool. Mid-sized frogs jump in too. On the muddy bottom, their hearts slow down, they breathe through their skin, and they look like they are asleep. They are hibernating. Hmm. That's how they stay out of the cold. Interesting. Spring comes, the bullfrogs wake up hungry. They hop out of the pond. The mid-sized bullfrogs eat fat worms, moths, little lizards, and even little frogs. Oh no. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. It is time to find a meat. The big male bullfrogs sing on the bank for female bullfrogs. Rum, rum, rum. The mid-sized bullfrogs sing too. Their voices are mid-sized. Rum, rum, Rum. The females choose the older, bigger males. The mid-sized bullfrogs eat and grow all spring. They grow all summer. Fall comes, they have grown into big bullfrogs. I guess their voices are deeper than rum, rum, rum. Winter comes. The bullfrogs hibernate on the bottom of the pond. So here they are again, they're hibernating. Oops. Spring comes. Time to find mates again. Birds whistle for mates, crickets chirp for mates, foxes yip for mates. All different animals. And the bullfrogs sing, rum, rum, rum. A female picks her favorite singer. Soon there will be more tadpoles. And there are some facts here, some more facts about bullfrogs. And this is one type of frog or bullfrog. There are many, many different types. Bullfrogs are the biggest frogs in North America. Bullfrogs can weigh one and one half pounds. They get really fat. They can leap more than four feet. They can live up to 10 years. They stay underwater all winter. They take in oxygen through their skin from the water while they're in hibernation. Female bullfrogs <clears throat> don't croak as often as males. They're more quiet, but they are bigger than males. And you're going to see that in our video that some of the frogs are big and some of the frogs are small. Bullfrogs have teeth, but they are very small. Bullfrog tongues attach in the front of their mouths, and that's how they dart them out to catch the bugs when they are adults. So in the YouTube video, you will see that the eggs here are laid in a different way. In our story, the bullfrog uh, eggs are like in piles. I'm not sure what kind of frogs these are in the video, but they lay their eggs in strands or curly strings. It is so interesting to see these very tightly coiled or curled strings. And you could see the eggs inside, the little black dots of, of the tadpoles inside the eggs, inside these egg strands. It is really, really cool. So I hope you watch the next YouTube video. And boys and girls, we're very lucky to see this process on the video. 
I have only seen it one time and I've been going to this place for 12 years and I've never ever caught it again. It's very hard to catch um, that this is happening. You have to be there at the right, on the right day at the right time or the right few days um, to see it happen. I may never catch it again. You may never get to see it except for on this video. So I hope you watch the video and you enjoy. And it's narrated by my grandson who was in second grade at the time when we happened to see this life cycle of the amphibian, the frog. Thank you.